Hey, superstars, I usually save my video responses for my monthly recap videos, but these two are due soon, and they're for a couple of great guys, so I wanted to get them in on time. Don's Field of Dreams cards wants to see something that Don would like, plus a couple of shout-outs, and Sean at the Chosen roster wants to see some art cards, but you don't have to go through the trouble of making an entire baseball roster like some other jerk I know. Um, so let's start with Don. John is very, very awesome and generous, and he made this cool card stand for me, which I don't use often in videos, but I do keep it on my desk and display my favorite new cards as I get them in. So I wanted to start with something I'm pretty certain Don would like, which is this 58 Stan Musial All-Star. My mom bought this for me as a kid, and she's always been my biggest enabler when it comes to this hobby, and this was one of my most prized possessions growing up. But I think Don maybe wanted us to dig a little beyond sports cards. So since Don made a bunch of these cool wood card stands, I assume he's into woodworking. So I'm going to show off my workshop, which is messy, but that's how workshops are supposed to be. Here's the table saw, which was given to us by a janitor that worked at my wife's school. Uh, cat pans. I hope you like cat poo, Don. A little table router, Mrs. Reindeer scroll saw, and some sanders. I've got some model rocket stuff because I'm a big nerd. The dust collector, this is my CNC router, which I'm looking to get rid of. I don't really use it that often now that I have the laser. And here's the drill press. Um, I just got this hot dog sign that I have to make a little frame for so that I can hang it. The toolboxes were my dad's. He didn't want them anymore, so I got my early inheritance. Eye protection, safety first. Uh, a couple of vices, my bandsaw. I'd really like to upgrade that someday. The compressor, lots of scrap wood. This is our chop saw we call Godzilla. Listen. I built these tables with lots of storage, you know, so I can keep things clean and tidy around here. Tools are cool and all, but they're worthless if you don't use them. So this is a project Mrs. Reindeer is working on, but she lets me help occasionally. This is a sideboard, I guess that's what you call it, but we got it under the TV in the living room. She's made it all out of cherry. We've still got to get the doors hung there, and we're making it so we can make different panels that go into the doors that we can switch out for different seasons or holidays, which means I'll make a baseball scene that goes across all four doors, and then I'll forget to make any more panels ever again. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get away with that. Let's not forget the shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Baseball Card Trooper, who, like Don, has some fantastic vintage and he's a joy to watch and he should have way more than 21 subs. And I also want to shout out Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong. Mike's got some uh, great, great pre-war, another really fantastic collection, and he's got great taste. And of course, Mike should have more than 83 subs. So go check those guys out. Um, there you go, Don. Hope you liked it. On to the chosen roster. Sean and I randomly started chatting in a Papa Jay's live stream the other day, and Sean said that he was doing an art card contest. And I immediately messaged him, and I said, I'm doing an art card contest. And we got to coordinate a little bit, which was kind of neat. And Sean simply wants to see some art cards. So here we go. Now I surround myself with art. So I'm all about this uh, video response and I'll show off a little sample of everything here. I love showing off my Dick Perez drawing of Satchel Page. It's just such a cool piece. Uh, over here, I've got some original paintings that were used as covers for Mexican pulp novels. I'm guessing from the 60s. Um, there's a guy on horseback being chased by floating coconuts with eyes. Um, up there are some iron pieces I made in a blacksmithing workshop. And here's some crazy looking guy being chased by a giant snake. And you can see this is where the title would go. And the same thing on that one. And here is a little glance of some more art. Some of my favorite pieces are those that people send me. Here is Max Muncy by Kyle and a self-portrait and Mike Trout by Bridger. I helped inspire them to send doodles to players for autographs, which I thought was really cool. While I was digging through stuff, I found my avatar self-portrait, so it was pretty neat to see that again. But Sean wanted to see art cards, so here are some tobacco cards with artists. Um, artists totally need to be on more trading cards. Here are some cool cards. Here's Catwoman, because why not? To the Batcave and Deadly Robot. These were fun, and I should have bought more of them when I had the chance. They kind of remind me of the Mars Attacks cards. I'd love to get my hands on some of those, but they're super expensive. But this book was not, and it's really cool. The cards were deemed too violent for little kids in the 60s, so they didn't last very long. 
Here are some of the newer ones that were even more gory, but yeah, just a really neat book. I do have a box of the Dinosaurs Attacks cards from the 80s that were in the same vein. So there you go, Sean. You wanted variety, and I think I gave you variety. So thank you both, Don and Sean, for fun giveaways. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.